Welcome to Ethel's Books. Can I help you? Yes. Do you have any books on sewing a quilt? Good morning, Ethel. How are you? Welcome to Ethel's Books. <sighs> oh, yeah. The password. <clears throat> Let's see. Do you have any books on how birdhouses are built? Uh, owning a kilt? Walking on stilts? Uh, can I get a hint? Oh, picks. Thank heavens. Let me guess. You forgot the password? Uh, <laughs> Do you have any books on sewing a quilt? Oh, that's right. I promise this won't happen again. In fact, I'm going to say it to myself 21 times in a row. Because once you do something 21 times, it becomes a habit. Sewing a quilt, sewing a quilt, sewing a quilt. Whew. That's 21. You know the password changes tomorrow, right? Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> Ryan? What happened? Ryan? Who? What? Hey! I was watching that! How long have you been here? Um, what day is it? Monday! Ryan DeFratis, you haven't left this room all weekend, have you? What have you been doing? Um... Watching videos of penguins? Baby penguins? Look, they're really fluffy and so cute. Once you start watching, you can't stop. Here they are learning to walk. And here's the mama penguin bopping heads with their little baby. Here it comes. Here it comes. Bop. I've watched that one 317 times. Seriously? And just how many nutty goo goo bars have you eaten? Just seven. Boxes. Honey! Ugh. I ran out two hours ago. That much sugar is incredibly unhealthy. You have got to show some self-control. I'm fine. What if you get called in to go on a mission? Conference room, now. We have a mission. All right, team, listen up. <sighs> and there's the sugar crash. What's going on? He's been up three days in a row eating nothing but sugar. Well, I need my top agent awake and ready to stop injustice. Not drooling on the table. I've got an idea. Do you have some sort of sleep ray you can zap him with to give him some rest? I wish. If I had one of those, I would have slapped a patent on it, sold it to mothers with newborns, and bought my own space station. No, I'm going to give him this. An energy drink? Not just any energy drink. This is a blue zebra. It harnesses the power of 16 stampeding zebras in just one can. It'll wake him up, that's for sure. And it might just buy us a few hours before his next crash. Do it. Whoa! Hey, hey! Ni hao! Buenos dias! Whoa, wow, I'm, I'm up, I'm up! What are we doing? Where are we going? We gotta go fight some bad guys! Hoo -ta, hoo -ta. I'm totally ready. Yes! Let's do this. Good. Now settle down and listen up. Hello, and we're live at the much-awaited grand opening of Candy World, the very first small town in America made entirely from candy. People have been lining up for weeks for their chance to chew, lick, and eat their way into this scrumptious little attraction. Candy World's guests are invited to bowl a few games at Strikingly Sweet, the world's first gumball and gummy pin bowling alley. Yes! They can splash around at Jelly Bean Bay, a jelly bean lake filled with all sorts of surprises. Or enjoy a cooler climate, sledding down Sunday Hill. <laughs> Wherever you go, you're sure to have a super sweet time. And now, here we are ready for the ribbon cutting. Since I'm an important person and the attraction has the word candy in it, they decided to let me cut the candy ribbon. What an honor. And 
that's it, folks. Handy World is now officially open! So, Candy World had a great grand opening. Yes, hundreds of people went in. So, what's the problem? None of the people came out. What? It's a trap. Oh, dear. I need you two to get down there ASAP. Find the missing people and figure out what's going on. Got it. Oh, and uh, bring me back a strawberry cake pop with extra sprinkles. Finally, this is the perfect chance to test my defensive candy weaponry. What? I've been working on a line of candy camouflage gadgets for years. Check it out. Lemon drop tear gas. So sour, your enemy won't help but cry. Bite once, throw to activate. And these are my jaw-breaking jawbreakers. One lick, and the bad guys will be licked for good. And over here, we have this little bad boy. A chocolate bunny? A Trojan bunny. The outside might be chocolate, but inside, it's an interactive mobile surveillance station that will let me keep an eye on things. And this is the Veggie Ray 2000. Ooh, whatever you shoot turns into fruits or vegetables. Really? What am I supposed to do? Host a vegetarian potluck? Look, you are going to be surrounded by a lot of candy. I thought a few vegetables might be helpful. Thanks, but no thanks. Ryan DeFrades, Pix worked super hard on this, and you are acting like you don't even care at all. What? It's just that you said you don't care at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Look, Ryan, if you have any better ideas for an invention, maybe you should let us know. <laughs> but in the meantime, you should acknowledge that Pix is a wonderful inventor. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I yam what I yam. <laughs> <laughs> really? Do you even hear how corny this is? <laughs> Corn E! <laughs> Not what I meant. Now, if you two are done making vegetable puns, we have a mission to get to. Come, come, my little dearies. Welcome to Candy World. Come, kick back and stay forever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got a live one over in Sector 4. Get in the car, boys. It's time for Phase 3. What's Phase 3 again? <sighs> We've been over this. I even made a chart. Uh, phase 1, make candy world. Phase 2, spray all the candy with my very own special recipe. Granny's Sticky Licky. It's tasteless, colorless, and its secret <laughs> formula activates on the 100th lick. We sprayed it all right. We sprayed every single licorice stick and lollipop out there. And now our spray fingers hurt. It will all be worth it, boys. <laughs> oh, oh, another one. Sector 7. And finally, Phase 3. While those greedy little candy eaters are stuck there belly aching, we go through their pockets and look for loose change. And once we collect enough money... Hawaiian vacation. Go collect my money. Wow! Oh, this is amazing! Okay, now, just remember, everything may look delicious and wonderful, but it's not safe. We don't know what happened to all the missing people, so don't eat any of the candy, okay? Ryan? Ryan! Hmm, this is so good! You just ate half a mailbox. <laughs> Look at me! I'm making a powdered sugar snow angel! <laughs> Honey, control yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Well, well, well. If it isn't Ryan DeFrades and his pesky mom. 
If they think they can come in here and keep me from my Hawaiian vacation, they've got another think coming. Ooh, looks like little Ryan has a sweet tooth. You just keep right on licking, little Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, you really have to stop. This light pole tastes like watermelon. Oh, look! Gumdrop trees! <laughs> Ugh! Broccoli? I'm sorry. It had to be done. You heard, Pix. The candy isn't safe. But we're at Candy World. You honestly expect me to not eat candy? Yes! Now, just try to think about something else. Like our mission and the hundreds of people who are missing? Okay, okay. I'm not going to look at the candy. Good. Oh, look, gummies! Seriously? Mm. Whoops, sorry. You better watch out. Eventually, that sugar crash is going to catch up with you, and there won't be enough blue zebras in the world to make you feel better. All aboard! The Choco Choo Choo departs in 30 seconds. A chocolate train? Cool! Uh, well, should we get on? It wouldn't hurt to get an overview of Candy World's attractions, and we might just find a clue to where all the missing people are. Let's do it! But no more candy! Mm -hmm. I'll keep an eye out for clues on this side. Good idea. How'd we do? We got four wallets, seven ladies' handbags with plenty of cash inside, and a gift certificate for 25% off our next oil change. Good! I need a good oil change. We've got several more trapped in sectors 2, 7, and 12. We'll get right on it. Wait! First, we have a little problem. <gasps> Ryan the Freddy! Every time we get close to our Hawaiian vacation, he's there standing in our way. It drives me coconuts! Gah! Don't worry about him. We got that sneaky spy squarely by the sweet tooth. He's been chopping, licking, and nibbling our candy like a rat in a cheese factory. And now, he's just a few licks away from being stuck for good! <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that pesky mom of his. He hasn't had any candy? Not a bite. So what are we gonna do? Don't worry, boys. Everyone has a weakness. We just have to wait and see what hers is. <laughs> Wow, this place is absolutely huge! Wow! Next stop, Jelly Bean Bay. That voice sounds awfully familiar. You're right, it does. I'm going to run a voice recognition scan next time and see what I can find. Where are you going? Just a quick taste. Ryan! It can't be that bad. Look at those people. Cannonball! You know good and well that eating all this candy is a bad idea. I can't help it. Yes, you can. Self-control is a choice. It's about choosing to do the right thing even when you don't feel like it. Uh, 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 uh. You've got this. Step away from the temptation. I'm proud of you, honey. Believe me, I know how hard that was. I'll let you in on a little secret. I used to be a candyaholic too. Really? Yep. You come by it naturally. In fact, nutty goo goo bars were my downfall too. I used to smell their caramely goodness and just go crazy. Aha! We got it now, boys. Nutty goo goo bars it is. Joe! Get me 150 bags of roasted peanuts, 725 pounds of dark chocolate, and my good spatula. Got it. Hugh, get me 
as much caramel sauce as you can find. Well, maybe Candy World isn't so bad after all. Maybe all those people aren't really trapped here. They just love it so much, they don't want to leave. Maybe. Ah! What in the world? That's not all. Look to your right. Ah! Oh. They're stuck. <laughs> I knew the candy wasn't safe. Help us! Help us, please! Help! Any luck on that voice scan, Pix? It's still processing. Choco Choo Choo. Choco Choo Choo. Choco Choo Choo. Should have something any minute. That'll do. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. Nutty Go Go Mountain. But it ain't just a mountain, is it, boys? It's a hot caramel molten lava volcano, and it's ready to blow! <laughs> <laughs> now for a few squirts of my sticky licky spray. She's gonna go crazy when she sees it. I give it two minutes before she's stuck to the volcano like bubblegum in Rapunzel's hair. And all we need is a few little licks from Ryan, and he'll be stuck too. They're coming! Quick! To the bubble balloon! <laughs> now, as soon as they're stuck at the bottom, we drop in a jar of Granny's secret hot sauce. And... Kabooya! They'll be nutty goo goo gone! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so people come in and get stuck to the candy. But why? And who is behind it? And got it. Oh, boy. What? You have reached the end of the line. All passengers must exit. It's Granny. Of course. And the candy is made from one of her evil recipes. I knew it. You were right. You were completely right. Now, absolutely no more candy until we find Granny. Right, Mom? Mom? Naughty Goo Goo Mountain. Oh. Population me. She's eating it. She's eating it. She's packing it in like a chipmunk. Get the hot sauce ready, boys. Come on. Just a few more bites now. Mm. Mom, no! Mom, stop! This is the most beautiful chocolate mountain I've ever eaten! Mom, wait! Remember what you told me! Self-control is a choice! Oh, uh, you're right. I mean, I was right. We're both right. Uh, what am I doing? She stopped! She stopped eating! What's wrong with the woman? Come on! Come on! I've always wanted to do that. You know real clouds aren't made out of cotton candy, right? Well, thanks for ruining it. It isn't working! Ugh. I guess we're just gonna have to do this the hard way. Get real jobs and pay taxes? No! We've got to tie them up using licorice ropes. Good thing we brought some. I'll bring us down, and you jump out on my signal. Got it. All right. No more candy. We got this. Now, let's find Granny. Ryan DeFratis! Well, that was easy. Welcome to Candy World. I would show you both around, except I think you're going to be too tied up. Get them, boys. What are you doing? I thought you said to wait for the signal. This is the signal! You can run, but you can't hide! Use the lemon drops! Oh, yeah! Oh, maybe you can hide. <laughs> Stop crying and pull yourself together! They're getting away! <laughs> I'm not crying! My eyes are sweat. 
Just where do you think you're going? Uh, ouch! Ouch! Uh, what was that? Um, look up. That is the sting of the jelly bean blaster. <laughs> Ooh, uh, ouch! Ow. Ouch! Ouch! Uh. Run, zigzag! Bunny down. I repeat, bunny down. Gotcha. Mom! Nope. Take her away. You put me down right now, young man. Just wait till your mother hears about this. I am his mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like I finally got a leg up on Brian the Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, Mom! I'm coming, Mom! I'm come. What's happening? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. looks like someone's having a major sugar crash. <laughs> oh, no! Don't even bother tying him up. He's not going anywhere. Now, duck for cover, boys! Duck for cover? What's going on? She'll be blowing up the mountain when she comes. She'll be blowing up the mountain when she comes. <laughs> well, this is just a guess. But I think she's planning to blow up the mountain. Because it's actually a volcano. Whiskey, there is no way so. She'll be blowing up the mountain when she comes. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> is literally going to be death by chocolate! And hot caramely goodness! <laughs> Don't worry. Trojan Bunny on the way. My purse! Hold still, Mrs. DeFratis. Hurry! It's getting really hot! <laughs> okay, almost... Got it! What in the world? It's too hot! The bunny melted! Right on top of my purse! I'm sorry, Mrs. DeFratis. Looks like it's all you now. Chili peppers? My volcano! You ruined everything! Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. Not so fast, Granny. The only place you are going is behind bars. And they won't be the chocolate kind. Uh-oh. Ouch. Congratulations on another successful mission. Granny and her boys are now back in prison. And we used the veggie ray to free all the people by turning the candy into vegetables, which we then donated to a community food pantry. And Ryan? I think he learned his lesson about staying up too late and eating too much candy. I'm going to take him home and feed him a nice big bowl of vegetable soup when he wakes up. Oh. And one more thing. These are for you. Strawberry cake pops? Don't worry. I didn't get them from Candy World. I made them myself. Oh, I shouldn't. It's okay. Having sweets every once in a while is just fine. As long as you know how to practice self-control. Okay, maybe just one. Mmm, delicious. Hi, I'm Kendra, and this is my brother Jeremy. We are the writers of Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. In today's episode, Ryan goes into a world made completely out of candy and learns the importance of self-control. What happened? Once you start watching, you can't stop! And just how many Nutty Goo Goo Bars have you eaten? Just seven. Boxes. Honey! Look at me! 
I'm making a powdered sugar snow angel! <laughs> Honey, control yourself. Choosing to practice self-control can be really hard. It's not just about eating the right things. It's also about doing the right thing, even when you don't feel like it. Like obeying your mom when she tells you to do something, even though you feel like playing a video game. Or speaking kindly to your little brother, even when he's being really annoying. That feeling you get when you really want to do something you know you aren't supposed to? That's called temptation. And everybody faces temptation, even Jesus. Today's story is all about a time when Jesus was tempted by the devil. But he didn't want to give in because he had a super powerful weapon. One day, Jesus went into the desert for a time of prayer and fasting. He didn't eat anything for 40 days. The devil watched him and waited till he was super tired and hungry. Then he went to Jesus and tempted him by saying, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. But Jesus looked at him and said, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. This made the devil so angry because he absolutely hates the word of God. So then he decided to try to test Jesus another way. He took him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. He told Jesus to jump off and make the angels come and rescue him. But Jesus said, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, Jesus quoted from God's word and it made the devil furious. Finally, the devil took him to a very high mountain and he showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. But a third time Jesus answered him by quoting scripture, saying, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Finally, the devil realized his plan wasn't working. Jesus was never going to choose the wrong thing. So he stormed off and left Jesus alone. Then some angels came down from heaven to take care of a very weary Jesus. Wow, God's word is really powerful. It's like a weapon we can use to resist the devil when he tries to tempt us. That's why it's a good idea to memorize as many Bible verses as you can. Like this one, 1 Corinthians 10.13 says, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. If you find yourself being tempted, ask Jesus to show you the way out. He understands our struggle because He was tempted in every way, just like we are. But He never gave in. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us on Ryan DeFrady's Secret Agent. Oh, 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 oh,